I ask you every time. I'm going to ask her one more time. I, would you go back to Housewives? Because I want you to go back so You're badly. so sweet. Yeah. I, I love watching you on yeah. the show, too. <laughs> um, you know what? I I actually, I probably would. I, I really, I I think they're ready for my you. Time so everyone's on listening there. out there. I think they're ready to have Denise back. I really do. I think it's time. I think you had your break. You got what it is. And now, yeah, now I understand. Um, and, and I'm genuinely friends with the women, th- some of the women yeah. on the show. No, I know. And and I think, you know, that makes the most sense is when you can slide. But and also, by the way, anyone, it doesn't matter if you've been an actress or anything before. In fact, it's probably helps. It's probably a hindrance more than a help. I think so, too. Yeah, It's like learning to drive if you already know how to drive, you know, right. up and down your, your thing. It, 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 because it's so different. And I, you know, getting I think everybody needs a season to be aware of what it is because it is it is terrifying the first season it's so different from anything i've ever done yeah and i'll never forget garcelle the first time she filmed it was with me and she was waiting for them <laughs> to say action and i i said to her i go they don't say action oh, like, what do you mean i go action is when that fucking mic is on you yeah so just know that. And it's she's like, all the you got to be kidding. I go, no. And the other thing I was surprised about was I kept asking. I'm like, where the hell is Craft Surface around here? Oh, none of that. I know. <laughs> it's a tiny little box <laughs> of food. So I had to bring my own snacks because I'm a grazer and everyone knew working with me how much I love my snacks. And even Lisa Rinna would say, we have to get Denise her snacks. She has to eat. I mean, it's so funny because also, you know, I guess with being an actress as well, it's not very personal. And this is so personal. Well, yes, but I also found some women are different on camera than they are off camera. Oh, 100%. And I think that's bullshit. 100%. It's really different. Well, the camera does something to be funny to people. I think so, and too. And it's, it's about getting airtime. It's about getting your moment. And I see it, too, with the show that I do. And, it, you know, you can't change that because, it you know, no matter how good of friends you are, there is a certain competitive element to it. I mean, my my housewives seem to think that we're on Survivor. And one of <laughs> us is, you know, not coming home at the end of the episode. So it's like... I didn't you know, understand that either when people would say to me, oh, it's about they're trying to get airtime. What, what are you talking about? Why can't it just be a group of women? Women and we just talk but well, then I started to really understand what well you know I, but I still think and I still maintain that without all of you the show doesn't work so like you know right. you know and you need everybody so I think there's a fine line between the competitiveness and the everything else but you know I mean it's funny because seeing you now come in and out like you now you've become a housewife. Like before it was like you kind of rolled out of the house in your normal clothes. <laughs> so went to housewives and like, oh, I've just arrived. And the others oh are all like, God, you know, I know, all like in I this. Know. And then this year when I saw you on, it's like you finally got oh, the memo. fuck, I did. I had glam. I'm like, fuck this. I am not going to have those bitches. I mean, and they made fun of me my second season saying, oh, well now you're doing glam. I'm like, well, who wouldn't once you learn like, yeah, I mean, yeah, did but, you not watch it before you went on it? Yes, but when I met with the producers, I said, <laughs> I'm going to be myself. Yeah, <laughs> like, and that was dumb. <laughs> so dumb. So it dumb. Really I wish I'd known you me. then. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, no, it no. was really. <laughs> and I, I think it was Dorit that said to me, um, oh, we were talking about stylists. I'm like, a stylist to go to dinner? <laughs> I go, she go, I go, I only do that when I'm working. She goes, this is working. <laughs> it's true. And she was right. And yeah. I was really naive and, and dumb. Yeah. No, it's I funny. was fucking dumb about it. But actually, it. it's kind of cute. It's very endearing. It's We had one girl on our show that did that too, but she, boy, did she regret it afterwards because the camera <laughs> lights eat you as well. Like if you don't have the proper glam, oh, yeah, it's a different I had type no of makeup. makeup on most of my scenes. When I, when I wasn't like dressed up for like an event, I didn't wear makeup. I just thought I'm just going to be myself like with my stupid ass, you know, messy bun and all this <laughs> shit, my <laughs> jeans and a t-shirt. And I was like, oh, fuck. Like the crazy chemist. No wonder Kyle called me a ragamuffin. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, they're brutal. The girls, are br- <laughs> your, your girls are brutal. You have to have. Oh, they like, are brutal. Yeah, brutal. You have yeah. to be at bonds of steel to be oh, on yes. Beverly Hills of steel. But, you know, I feel like you gave as good as you got this season. You know, you held your own. Oh, you did. N- okay. 
first of all, I won't even watch any of the episodes that I was on. Oh, you haven't watched it? No. I made such an asshole out of myself oh, the, at that the, dinner. The, the There's no upside way. down jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that that is so when you asked her if you was upside down, I wanted to clap. But it's brilliant. It was so cute. It was <laughs> That's so good. How many drinks did you have, Denise? You know what? I had one drink before I left. Yeah. And I had a half a drink while I was there. I did. I was sick. And we had to do a couple COVID tests to go. And I really probably shouldn't have gone because I was not feeling well. But because my test came back and I was fine to go, um, there is something to be said. You shouldn't mix uh, cold medicine <laughs> Oh my cocktail. God, you had cold medicine with it. Yes, so, that's a disaster. Whatever. I, you know, I just was. Well, it it, made, it actually made the series. So there you go. I well, think it's, thank it, you. And you must have gone viral. <laughs> so look at the positive. There's always a positive no, to one I of these mean, things. Catherine O'Hara um, did a little scene of me. You know, <laughs> it's on, so good. And I am such a fan of hers. I but was it's, so... it's Dorit's face too. <laughs> She's looking at her jacket like, it, mine? Mine's upside down. <laughs> like the two of you. I had no idea that that was going to turn into what it did. So, <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, I've had the blue unicorn. I think, you know, you can't go through Housewives without making these kind of like right? faux pas as part of it. And it's, but it's so funny because it was cute. It's nothing. You're not hurting anyone. It was fun. Well, thank you for saying it that. Is. It's not like I showed up at my kid's school like that. I know. It was a wheat party. It was for Christ's sake. <laughs> it was funny. Anyway, I've been in, in uh, the States a week and everyone's crazy here. So anyway, if you could give a piece of it, like one p makeup tool to anybody in your bag at our like at your age now that you can't live without, like what are the sort of the pieces that you okay. always carry? So you and I have brows. Yes. Right? So uh, definitely an eyebrow pencil. Have you got gray hair in your brows? You don't have any. I have. You don't look like you do. I do. Well, I don't see it. Thank so, you so much. Uh, but I like to to have it shaped because I've always been known the for eyebrows my shape, eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> so shape and uh, I love lip gloss and mascara. I mean, so you're just taking everything everywhere. Well, <laughs> and uh, you know what? It's a whole thing. Um, and concealer and this and yes. this and this. <laughs> okay, I would say, girls, my number one thing is concealer. Concealer, I could probably live without sure. anything else, but concealer lifts everything. If you could only, if I could only choose one, I guess I'd have concealer? to take it. Concealer, oh. I, I think so, because it sort of lifts your whole face. I think if I had to just pick one one thing, it would be mascara. Mascara. No, I could live without those. Sergio doesn't like eyelashes. I mean, I do it, but he doesn't like eyelashes. Why is that? More natural. Yeah. Well, I mean, my husband's the same way. I mean, but I'm trying to tell them there's nothing la natural left on my body. I don't understand <laughs> what he's talking about. I'm like, he goes, he goes, I love you natural. I'm like, we, we should have met when I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit late for that. <laughs> Everything. I've had a facelift, cheek lift, boobs. Um, I don't know. Uh, hands just done. Oh, well, speaking of boobs, yeah. have you thought about getting your <laughs> your implants taken out? Oh, because you have to change them, you mean? I mean, No, it, just with all the stuff, because I was... Oh, please don't sell, tell him it's dangerous while he's in here. He's going to have me walk down to the hospital and remove okay, himself. Okay, for fuck's sake, I won't say shit then. Oh, go on, keep going. Go on. No, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much probably getting mine taken out because... But then what, what are you going to put in there? I don't fucking know. Well, I'm then, hoping that they're what, then what come are we, up with something. What are we left with? <laughs> Just two empty well, sacks? I know that there's... I don't want to pull fat and do it because I don't think it'll look right. It'll look... Where are you getting the fat from, Denise? Oh, Your trust me. There's fucking fat on me. Not enough but, to make two boots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shut like, up. You may have oh, a tiny bit somewhere, but it's not no, going to fill your bra. I don't know. I, I was supposed to actually have surgery um, a month ago, but then I had to work, so I couldn't. But it, it's probably good because I needed to really figure out the recovery and what I'm going to do to, I don't know what they're going to look like. You know what I mean? I feel like I mean, I had nothing. I feel like you might be a procrastinator. You a bit of a procrastinator. No, I I want to just research it more. Well, you mean for the facelift? Yeah, all of it. That no, the facelift is scary to me because 
like I said, you know. What if you come out wrong? Yeah. yeah you have to really, really, face. really trust your doctor. And what if the surgeon, like, I don't know, had a, I don't want to be that bad day. Like everyone has a bad day when they go to well, work. Well, I mean. I don't want to be the bad day patient. You know what look I at, mean? Look at, look at Demi Moore. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at all these people that look fabulous. No, I fabulous. know, but I don't want to be the bad day. Well, I mean, then you know, you make sure that you go first in the morning, <laughs> and that he hasn't been out the day. Before. I don't. I'm. I really wish I had the. I hope I do it because I do want my jaws and my neck lifted. I am scared shitless. I am okay. Let me look ask you this: weird. How wrong can you go with your neck and your jaw, Charles? Like how wrong? Like what do you think you're going to come out like? Like what's the worst that could happen? Tightening your neck? Not a lot. I mean, that's that was the, my that was my rationale. It's not like I I didn't want beautifying. I didn't just, want my eyes lifted. Right. So all, any of that. So then I'm like, okay, how much can he really fuck it up? I well, I'm sure a lot of people can really fuck it up. I oh, just don't want to You're be just that. going like this. Yeah. I, well, that sounds nice and easy, but when you're under and you can't say, you well, know you're going to see two women today, this. two women today I, who've had it oh, done. Okay, oh, all right, I'm going to look at her face too. Yeah, she looks great. I, I mean, know that's why you went to her doctor. Yeah, she looks so young. I mean, although I've only seen her on Zoom, so. you look really young. Do I? Yeah. I know that's why I think the hair's a bit long. So we're all sat here with sort no, of it's like not too long. No, no, it looks great. Thank you. No, you look really beautiful. And how do you so stay so young? So do you maintain stay a diet young. and tiny? Yes. Like you look fit, tiny. I mean, it's all about the hair, the clothes and feeling young. But what else do you do? You maintain a diet? I, like what is the Denise I, Richards diet? You know, I am very, I have to say I am blessed with a thin family. My father is in the same, my mom, when she was still here, would be so pissed that my dad could still wear the same size jeans that he wore in high school. Um, so I do have genes of, but that doesn't keep you firm. You know what I mean? So, but do you I work actually, out? do I, do you, do, you do, do I work out? Yeah. Weights. <laughs> um, I just got a new weight gym, a gym with weights. Okay. Uh, I do have a Pilates machine. So you've looked but, at it so far. Well, uh, yes. Um, <laughs> From afar. <laughs> no, my husband. Oops. Ooh, ooh. Okay. My husband just put this gym together. It's so cool. Um, so I, I do want to start doing weights because I have noticed getting older. I've always been lucky younger with the arms. But now I get it when women would say the jiggly. With, yeah, you jiggly know, bits. Bingo the, weights. I, I have that. So I'm definitely starting to do weights. And um, But, I, you know, I, Pilates is pretty much always been my primary workout that that's I would do. That's what I do. Isn't that interesting? Because I think as you get older, I mean, I went today and I had another peptide put in. So my testosterone levels are going to be way up again. Um, A peptide? Have you not had peptides? No. Oh my God, Denise, you are missing okay, out. I need the numbers of all the people she's going to. No, I'm sending you, I mean, don't even pass go. Go Pepti straight, what? straight there and you can thank me later. So testosterone okay. peptide, in my butt cheek today and that so I was a, a woman should be between a hundred I keep saying this to everybody out here I'm sorry 150 to 200 okay I was 13 so this will improve your sex life wait, Aaron if you're listening your wait your your testosterone should be 150 to 200 for a woman and it goes down as you get okay. older okay so I bet you if you do your bloods I'm going to send you to my doctor when you leave here. Okay. On You're another gonna, day. Gonna, go and see him. I'm going to go see. And and he'll take your bloods and you. I want to know how, where you are. Okay. So anyway, it improves, um, uh, makes you like literally horny as hell. Aaron is going to thank me a lot. You're going to thank sure me a lot. I'm sure thrilled. Oh, he's over the moon. Yeah. Yeah. You have four, 48. I actually wake up in the middle of the night for sex. That's like, you know. Oh, wow. Yeah. Didn't anymore, but didn't before. Wow. Um, then it also, everyone's having a good laugh. Well, stop laughing. Um, and it improves uh, hair, nails, um, sex, wetness. Um, the thing I noticed too getting older is the hair. Everything. This improves everything. Wow. And energy. You're going to skip around town like you're a 14-year-old. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to go this peptide person. <laughs> yes. And then and then also um, he does copper peptides. Okay. Where's my phone? I've got to show you. Copper peptides. And it changed my skin in 48 hours. 
48 hours, no, no joke. I've never even heard of peptides before. And I'll tell you how it happened. I ended up sitting with a woman that followed me um, uh, for ages and she came, she's 51 years old and I've never, she looks, she looks, I don't know, 35, un bloody believable. The body's like a supermodel, the hair, the face, the everything. And I said, have you had surgery, done anything? She goes, no, I do peptides. I'm like, what is a peptide? And I walked out of lunch and went straight to the doctor, her doctor. I am very excited about this. Yeah. Thank you. It's And it lasts like it, the pellet in your bottom, you just change it every three months. Okay. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do your do this again and we're going to recap. S see where you are yeah. in life. Yeah. yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. It sounds great. That. 